Hey, welcome back to you, Monstar Gaming. Doing another update on Pocket City. <clears throat> Since the last time uh, I did a video, I've uh, expanded. I'm still uh, building a bunch of stuff over here. I want to expand to this whole area here. Um, I built a farm, um, little animal field there that helps out the farm. Got the Ferris wheel. Uh, got a couple of farms here, lumberjack. They're still doing their funny business, of course, everywhere over here. But I do have um, fire departments and police and things like that. Um, I also have these mountain mines, which is great. Um, they're going to help me with my exports. So I'm still doing some building. <clears throat> I went over here as well. And you'll see the bottom one here is a highway versus the regular roads. Highways are pretty cool because they... Uh, you know, they, they help out with traffic because there's more lanes. <clears throat> and, uh, they you know, they move around pretty quick. Um, the one thing about highways, though, is that they will not help the water and electricity distribution. So you still want to have other roads connecting that, but maybe use those to connect one area to another area. Um, so I have this area here that I started. I have a bridge there, and I do have my little boats going, going around. I have a lot of quests, though. So even though... I'm level 47 now. There's still, you know, a bunch of stuff. So I'll up, approve any policy. Let's see. Uh, not sure which of the policies I want to do, but. All right, let's take a look at those. That was something new to the. Um... So last time I played was, I think, about two years ago. And some of these things didn't exist then. So let me see what I want to do. <clears throat> Residential. I don't think I need more money. Um, I might later. So let's see. What is this? Two policy points. I could do that. That's fine. Industry. You definitely need industry. Let's see. Definitely want that. Good. So we will get some XP from that, and that should level me up. And let's see, parking garage. Ooh, that's cool. I did not have that when I played before. So I might have only got to about level 40 last time. I don't know. But I was playing a smaller map, I think, too. Who knows? Parking garage. So since I want to start building out this way. Maybe we'll do that over here. So where is that? Oh, it's in traffic, I think. Yep. Nice. So I can do that. Let's see what it looks like when it's built. Very cool, very cool. Um, the other thing that I noticed is you can upgrade stuff. So let's go here to zones, upgrade, and I'm going to upgrade all of these. Yes, it, it costs more, um, but they also produce more, which is nice. And it almost gives you like a refresh on the buildings. The buildings don't look the same than when you first had them, so nice. Definitely look a little bit taller. <clears throat> All right, and then I also have the steel mill, which is cool. So I have a lot to do. One of the other things that I realized is neighbor city here. Create a neighbor city and level it to 10. So when I played this game before, you build one full map, and that was it. You know, and it took a little while, you know, you and especially if you're trying to do the quests, uh, it would take a little while to do the quests and um, make your city larger. But I do recall one of the times that I built, I built about 90, 85 to 90% of the map, just because, you know, you start earning a ton of income and you can build, 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 build. The problem was, is I wasn't paying attention to a lot of the quests, and then I wasn't paying attention to things that actually improved. Um, I was more just placing things here and there. So I still have a lot of space over here, which is super exciting that I'll be able to work on all that. Um, but let me go over here to the settings menu and then hit region 
This is the really cool, cool part. And I think when I played last time, this did not exist. So basically this adds to the end game. It was something that they added near the end. Uh, policies was something that they added, which is pretty cool. And then they added this as well. So what this means is you start out with the city in the middle here. Once you get enough points, you actually end up unlocking another territory. So at the end of the day, you'll actually have nine territories. So to me, this is awesome. And it sounds like each territory has a lot going to it. So the one over here on the left has like a lot of ocean. The other one has like a lot of beachfront kind of stuff, desert, grasslands, a lot of trees, a lot of mountain, big mountains over there. And this one has a lot of fields. So they're all very different. And from what I understand, you can transfer money, like it says over there. Um, and then they can kind of cross sell like import export uh, goods and things like that um, so there's no other regions here so that's fine um, but I could potentially start another region somewhere uh, which is really nice and they each have their own strengths so building more than one is going to be good because each one is going to produce a certain amount of uh, of uh, output for you so I thought that this was a magnificent idea um, to do this. Um, I'm not sure how big the other maps are versus this one. Um, uh, but either way, it's almost like you're getting eight new regions of the same size, hypothetically. So if you were to fully max out all regions, it basically extends your actual gameplay about seven to eight times. Um, which to me, I think that's awesome. So I'm just going to go back. Um, so what that means is you get more, more game out of the game, right? You get to play a lot more. You get to build a completely different kind of city on the other side there. Um, just so much flexibility. Um, let me see. So I'm pretty excited about that. Yes, it's going to take me a while and you know, every week I'll try to post a little, you know, a couple of posts here and there to, so you can follow my progress. Um, but me maxing out this city, which is somewhere in the 120 or so, does not mean that the game's over. That means I can start working on the other cities. Um, and these will be pretty self-dependent. You know, I'll make sure that I have a good economy and I have uh, police, fire, everything I need uh, in the right place. And it basically will run itself. And then I can start working on some of the other places. So... Um, if you watch videos from two years ago or even one video, um, there's people doing videos saying that they completed the game, but they only completed this map. Um, and then I think the people that kind of like the game and we're just doing reviews here and there didn't really go past like a week of gameplay. Um, some of them did, but a lot of them don't. And I think it's the second half of the game that's a little bit more exciting. Once everything looks pretty, you know, looks like, looks like a city, um, is when you really start making those changes, um, which is really cool. Like, this didn't exist before. Let, let me see what this says. Income never drops below zero. I don't think I need that. Increase the maximum cash of each bank. Ooh, definitely need that. Perfect. Um... Uh, what is this? Oh, I could do that. I have a lot of policy points right now, at least. So I'm going to do that. Uh, what is this? Increases housing by 20%. Very cool. Happiness, but also slightly for attractiveness. Reduces cost of residential zone by 20%. I don't think the cost is too expensive right now. Mm, that could be a good one. Fire safety. Not enough policy points for that. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Transportation. What does this one do? Improve congestion. I think later in the game that does become an issue. Congestion. Perfect. All right. So I think I want to place another bank somewhere over here because we're going to need that. And then we're definitely going to need the other things too. Um, okay. Okay. So I'm going to work on this whole area over here. I'm going to try to complete this whole area. Um, not right this second, but as I'm playing, as I continue to play. Um, hmm. I could build another farm right there just to have it. 
farms have to be on the little dirt lots, which is fine. So we'll do that. Let me see. Where is this? Sometimes it's tricky trying to find these things, but plant chow. Let's put that right there. Basically, it tills the soil so it will be farmable, which is really nice. And improves that. <coughs> Animal pasture has to be adjacent to a farm. And I'll click on the pasture. So attach the farm to increase fruit production must be built next to a farm. Perfect. And we completed a quest from, okay. So now we're getting, okay. From exports. Perfect. Quest completed. Perfect. And if you look at the quest, they actually come in order of what they feel like you should be able to accomplish. Uh, so uh, bigger is better reach a population of 8,000 citizens I'm not even close to that so I really do need to start working on that uh, let's see build some houses over here we can build some businesses over here I'm wondering if I should put a police department over here I think that'd be good. Put a police department there. Oops. And then put a fire department over here. I think that'd be good. Uh, we did level up to level 49. Get some money. That's fine. Uh, and we need some more housing, which is cool. So let's do that. And then we'll probably need some more commercial. So we can do that there by the bank. Perfect. that we're still getting more money which is good oh you know what upgrade this <clears throat> all right i think we have enough there uh getting resourceful let's see wood can be harvested processed at lumber mills the more trees the more we'll harvest okay and i think we actually did that already Perfect. Let's see what else. Huh. Yeah, this game is already looking way more interesting than when I played it two years ago. Small little nuances. Um, what did I build over here? Oh, I built the bus depot, and then I have some bus stops. I think I have a bus stop right here, right in front of the town center. Right there. And that's a little bus going there. Um, I don't think I've done any rails yet. Or do I? Mm, no. So that is something that's, that is another thing I want to work on is getting some rails, which I believe helps with, uh, with traffic as well. Let's do some commercial over here. I'm going to buy this that over here. It's fun having the money to be able to buy this stuff, you know, without really having to think about it too much. But over time, they do become more expensive. So, all right, let's buy this one here too. Good, and let's buy this one over here. Good. Yep. I like having a little bit more room to, to work on things. All right. So traffic is getting a little congested over here. So let's see. Let's do that. It's so funny. I said I really wasn't going to work on this right now, but it's like so easy to, uh oh, what just happened? Did it stop or did it go over here? Oh, jeez. Yeah, those natural disasters are pretty annoying. Um, okay, good. <clears throat> but yeah, it's so easy to build stuff, especially if you have the income. I like looking at the reports, which is pretty cool. 
different disasters you can do, recreation, do another block party just for fun. Tch, they're way over there. I wonder if I can build this thing over here or not. Oh, I can. Perfect. Do that. My population isn't really growing much. Huh. Let me see. What about leisure? What fun stuff do we have? Okay. Uh, aquarium. I could probably put an aquarium over here, even though that's next to the farm. Who cares? All right. Level 50. Ooh. Zones, zones coming in. What does that mean? Oh, there's a storm coming. <laughs> All right. And what was I doing? Zones. Ah, okay. Let's see some. Very cool. So I guess the um, terrain means I can make those things there. Let me click more. Forest, palm tree, sand, mountain. So it's, uh, it lets me play around with the uh, terrain. Perfect. Perfect. So that's exciting. So you have the flexibility of altering things. Nice. All right. So, yeah, so that's all. We're going to keep working on all this stuff, you know, try to get to level 60 or whatever and uh, try to clear out some of these things here because uh, I'm starting to run out of space. And actually, I should probably start doing stuff down here. You know, there's a fire somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I think they found it. Hopefully they found it. Um, yeah, I'm going to start clearing some of this area down here. Getting expensive though. Let's see. What is all this stuff? Um, Need more population. All right. Uh, am I 300? Yep. Let's buy this too. Start working on some stuff. And I'm going to put a bank over here just so I don't have to worry about it for later. For right now. Not enough cash. Now I do. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So that's my update. Oh, of course, now i got to build some electricity stuff. <laughs> There's always something. Always, always, always something. So I'll put that right there for now. All right, well, thanks for watching, and I will have uh, another update probably in another couple of days. Thank you.